Hey you guys, happy new year 2021 to everybody. Well, I decided to start the year with this uh, grammar video about question tags. And maybe some of you are right now asking, what the hell are question tags? Well, for that purpose, I put there also some illustration. It's on the right. Um, imagine yourself outside looking up at the sky and you want to say to your friend or your partner, and you want to translate it into English. Well, and here is the problem. Some Slovak learners of English would automatically translate it as the moon is pretty. No, this no here is the problem because uh, whereas in some languages like in Slovak or Spanish, for example, it is okay to use this no at the end of a sentence. In English, it's not okay. This is where we need to use a question tag. So in English, correctly, you would say, the moon is pretty, isn't it? Now, I want you to compare the Slovak and the English question tags. In Slovak, we simply use words like nie or pšak or že or čo. For example, je to španielska, nie? Or, nepracuješ tu však? Pačilo sa im to, nie? So you can see that nothing changes, just these words, simple words at the end of sentences, right? However, in English, it's a little bit more complicated. Just look at the translations of these Slovak questions, okay? So, je to španielska, nie? In English, it would go like, she's from Spain, isn't she? Nie pracuješ tu však? You don't work here, do you? See? Different question tags. Isn't she? Do you? Let's look at the third example. Pačilo sa im to, nie? They liked it, didn't they? Again, a different question tag. Okay, so first of all, what are question tags? Just briefly, let's, let's answer this simple question. Question tags are those mini questions at the end of a sentence, but not at the end of a question, okay? So we put question tags at the end of a sentence or statement, okay? Not at the end of a question. That would be a double question. It would be nonsense. And second question, when or why do we use question tags? We use them in spoken English, first of all, not in written, but in spoken English. And we use them when we want to check if something is true for example, I think, but I'm not completely sure, that the capital city of, I don't know, Peru is Lima. So I talk to my friend and I ask her, the capital city of Peru is Lima, isn't it? Okay, I'm checking the information. And second, when we want to invite people to agree with us, so... Imagine again that beautiful moon in the sky, you're looking at it and your partner is standing next to you and you want him to agree with you. You say, oh, the moon is so beautiful, isn't it? Question tag, isn't it? And you expect your partner to agree with you. So he would say, yes, it's beautiful. Okay, so this is how and why we use those question tags. Let's continue. Okay, so I'm going to explain these question tags on the verb be. Okay, for starters. And let's start with present simple. Okay, first thing that you need to remember is that if you're starting with a positive sentence, then the question tag must be negative. Okay, these are always you know, like contrary. If you start with positive sentence, you must continue with a negative question tag. And on the other hand, if you start with a negative sentence, you have to add a positive question tag. 
Okay, so let's start with a positive sentence plus negative question tag. He's over 50, isn't he? All right, so we've got the verb be here in the third person. He is over 50. This is positive, okay? So he's over 50. And here we have the question tag, isn't he? First of all, it's a question. So you need to remember that the word order is reversed. You have to start with a verb, okay? Isn't. It's negative. And then you put the person, he, okay? He as at the start of the sentence, okay? So he's 50, isn't he? Again, you've got this information and you want to check it because you are not sure if it's true. So you talk to somebody and you say, hey, Tom is 50, uh, over 50, isn't he? And the person talking to you says, yeah, he is, or no, he isn't. He is nearly 50, but he's not 50 yet, okay? Let's continue. You're Tom, aren't you? Again, you have this positive verb here, okay? You are Tom. So in the question tag, you need to use a negative verb, aren't, okay? Are, aren't. And the person which is the same as at the start of the sentence, which is you, okay? Aren't you? This is mine, isn't it? All right, so positive is in the question tag, negative isn't. And whether you use this or it, it doesn't matter. In a question tag, you always try to use those simple pronouns, okay? Like it, she, he, we, they, you, I, okay? You don't use uh, this, just it. And another example, they are nice, aren't they? So are positive and in the question tag negative aren't. They are nice, aren't they? Now let's try the reverse order. So now we'll try a negative sentence plus a positive question tag, okay? Again, they are contrary. If you start with a negative sentence, then the question tag must be positive. Okay, so let's change this first sentence. He isn't over 50, is he? See, we started with negative verb, isn't. And then in a question tag, you must use a positive, is, right? And he, of course, is the same as in the sentence. Next, you aren't Tom, are you? Negative, aren't, then in a question tag, you must use a positive. This isn't mine, is it? Negative isn't, positive is. And the last one, they aren't nice, are they? Negative aren't, positive are, are they in a question tag, right? Now, let's continue with past simple. Okay, the rule is the same here, okay? You start with a positive sentence, then you have to add a negative question tag. So, she was here, wasn't she? All right, so positive was in the sentence, then the question tag must be negative, wasn't she? And again, the person is the same, yes? She, she, okay? We were friends, weren't we? Positive were in the question tag, negative weren't. And to the person we doesn't change. There was a shop, wasn't there? Was positive, wasn't negative. And as you can see, um, there is no like specific person here, but there is this there, which you copy also in the question tag, wasn't there. Perfect. Now let's revert. Ah, there's one more sentence. Okay. Um, it was dull, wasn't it? So was positive, wasn't it in the question tag negative. Okay. Now let's switch. 
Let's start with a negative sentence plus a positive question tag. She wasn't there, was she? Wasn't, negative, was, positive. We weren't friends, were we? Weren't, then in the question tag, were we? There wasn't a shop, was there? So, negative, wasn't, in the question tag, positive, was. It wasn't dull, was it? And also notice how in Slovak I always use just the same však, okay? Nie, or, um, yeah, I think this is all here. Oh, also you can use že, okay? This is much simpler in Slovak than it is in English when you have to always check the verb, okay? And uh, think about if it's negative sentence or a positive sentence and according to that, adapt this question tag to it. Okay, now for the verb be, let's also try the future simple. Positive plus a negative question tag. Okay, so it will be okay, won't it? Here we have positive will or will be. And in the question tag, we need to use a negative, which is won't. Won't basically is you certainly know it, N- will plus not, okay? So won't it, don't forget to use also the person, okay? So it and it, all right? He will be home, won't he? Okay, so positive will and negative won't. You just need to change this person, okay? He and he. You'll be waiting there, won't you? Same thing, right? And now reversed, negative sentence plus positive question tag. It won't be okay, will it? So we started with won't, negative won't, plus a positive will in the question tag, plus it. He won't be home, will he? You won't be waiting there, will you? Okay? Well, so I hope that this is clear. That was for the verb be. Now let's try question tags with the other verbs. Okay, let's start with present simple again. Now you need to remember to use the the auxiliary verb do. Okay, let's see how it works. The rule that we are following is always the same. With a positive sentence, we have to use a negative question tag. Let's see. Sam works here, doesn't she? So again, we've got a positive sentence. Sam works here, okay? In present simple, works, positive. And in a question tag, we need to use a negative. But here we are no longer using the verb be as before, like isn't she or wasn't she and so on. But we need to use this auxiliary do. Um, And this is a third person. So the third person of do is does and negative of does is doesn't. Okay, plus the person she. So Sam works here, doesn't she? Let's say Sam is a woman. Yes, Samantha. Okay, next example. You like it, don't you? Again, uh, we've got a positive like and the, the auxiliary do, but in the negative, which is don't, okay? So you like it, don't you? We live near you, don't we? Same thing, positive live, negative don't we, okay? We, the person remains the same. I talk too much, don't I? Talk, positive, don't, negative plus I. Now let's reverse it. Negative sentence plus positive question tag. Sam doesn't work here, does she? 
So we started with a negative, doesn't work. It's a third person, so doesn't, okay? And positive question tag, okay? So does she? You don't like it, do you? Right? So negative, don't like, plus a positive question tag, do you? We don't live near you, do we? Negative, don't live, plus positive, do, do we? I don't talk too much, do I? I don't talk too much, do I? Right? Okay, so this was present simple with auxiliary do. Now, past simple, also we have to use this auxiliary do, but in the past, which is did. Okay, so positive sentence plus negative question tag. You forgot it, didn't you? Here we have past simple of forget, which is forgot, okay, positive, forgot. And question tag is the past simple of do, which is did, in the negative form. So didn't you, okay, person, you, you. You forgot it, didn't you? He did it, didn't he? Right? So positive did and negative didn't, didn't he? I made a mistake, didn't I? Made, past simple of make, and a uh, negative of did, so didn't, okay? I made a mistake, didn't I? And the answer would be yes, yes you did, okay? Negative sentence plus positive question tag, you didn't forget it, did you? Didn't forget it, okay, negative sentence, and a positive question tag, so did you, okay? He didn't do it, did he? He didn't do it and positive did, did he? I didn't make a mistake, did I? Right? So negative plus positive question tag. Excellent. Now let's switch to the future. And the auxiliary for the future tense will be will. So let's see, positive sentences plus negative question tags. It will stop, won't it? Okay, so will plus the verb that we want to use, which is stop. So it will stop, positive, future. And the negative question tag, won't it? Yeah, won't again is will plus not. And of course, you have to use the person as usual, which is it, as at the start of the sentence. It won't stop, won't, oh, sorry, it will stop, won't it? They will come, won't they? Okay, so positive, will come, and negative, won't they? She'll call me, won't she? Positive, will negative won't she and now reversed negative plus positive question tags it won't stop will it so we use a negative won't will not will not stop plus a positive question tag which is will it they won't come will they won't come negative plus positive will they question tag and she won't call me will she yeah negative positive well and finally let's take a brief look at the present perfect simple with auxiliary half and question tags formed with this so they have gone haven't they so we are using right now this have 
as the auxiliary verb, which is normal. You already know that for present perfect, this is, this is a classic, okay? They have gone and we need to use a negative now, negative of have, which is haven't, okay? Plus the person which we, we started a sentence with, which is they, okay? So they have gone, haven't, haven't they? You've seen her, haven't you? You've seen her. You have seen her. And negative again, haven't you? Finally, he's eaten, hasn't he? He's eaten. This apostrophe S is not he is eaten, but he has eaten, right? Because we are talking present perfect. So he has he eaten and the negative will be hasn't he? Okay, hasn't he? It's a third person. Now let's try negative plus positive. They haven't gone, have they? Here we have negative haven't gone, haven't. So the positive question tag is half. They haven't gone, have they? You haven't seen her, have you? Okay, haven't seen her and question tag is positive, have you? And finally, he hasn't eaten, has he? Third person hasn't eaten and the question tag is positive, has he? Great, okay, so that's it. Now just two more things that you need to remember exceptions, very common exceptions for question tags, first of all. It's after positive I am, the question tag, the negative question tag will be aren't I. Here are some examples. I'm late, aren't I? I'm right, aren't I? I'm babbling, aren't I? So I know that it sounds quite illogical, aren't I? You know, the connection of these two, um, logically I would say, am I not or something, right? But this is the exception. With I in the negative question tag, you have to use aren't, okay? So just try to fix it, fix it in your head. I'm right, aren't I? Yeah, aren't I? Second exception, very common, is after let's, the question tag is shall we, okay? So let's go, shall we? Or Let's ask him, shall we? Let's take a break, shall we? Okay, so there is not let not or anything, it's just let's plus shall we, all right? Don't change the person, we is, must be there, okay? Shall we? And now, very quickly, test yourself, okay? There are gonna be sentences and you will fill in the question tag, the appropriate question tag, okay? Let's see. She's an assistant. Now fill in with a question tag. Isn't she? Okay, very good, because there is positive is. So the question tag, negative, isn't she? Let's continue. You bought a car. Question tag is, didn't you? Excellent. We haven't won. Have we? Super. I'm wrong again. Aren't I? Okay, this is the exception that we we're talking about. Okay, I am positive and negative question tag. Aren't I? He doesn't love her. Question tag is? Does he? Super. And they will agree. Won't they? Finally. Let's have a drink, shall we? And again, another exception, right? Shall we with let's. Okay, that was great. You did a great job. So these were question tags and uh, this has been Miriam from Language Studio Euphema. I hope you enjoyed and that you will tune us again. Thank you very much. See you next time.